Looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got some new Rising Stars. We do have five of them. We have a, a decent amount. Honestly, Rising Stars have been some of the better Wildcard Wednesday drops in comparison because, of course, they're younger guys. So they typically get more speed. Uh, for some reason, EA thinks because they're veterans or because they're heavyweights or any of those things, that means they can never have decent athleticism ever because older people in the sport doesn't have decent speed and it's a video game, so their higher overall card shouldn't have more speed. I suppose that's their thinking. I'm really not sure, but Rising Stars usually are pretty good. First and foremost, let's do open up our Good Morning Madden Pack, see if we can get some decent out of here. Been trying to pull a banger out of here for quite a while, guys. I'm starting to lose hope, honestly. I don't think it may ever happen. As much as I try, and I beg, I don't think I'm ever going to pull anything decent. I did pull a base 80 elite though out of there the other day. That was that was pretty exciting. Uh, for the most part. And with the elite flash in general, it was exciting. Considering all the high gold flash, I feel like there should be definitely a higher chance of pulling an elite out of here. But it is what it is. Uh, moving on from that, guys, we do have the rising stars. We do have a few things to go over. Now, first and foremost, guys, remember, we have some stuff coming to them up pretty shortly. Um, they have not announced yet, but we do know a combine promo is on the, the verge, right? Now, before I get into all that. Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell. Give the video a big thumbs up as always, guys. Commenting and liking are super huge for helping the channel out. So could you so kindly comment down below, like the video, and use code Poodle at checkout at Mutt Reserve. Now, like I was saying, comment promo is upon us pretty shortly, guys. It is officially the 24th, I believe. So 24th, that does mean that the comment promo last year was the 28th. So we can't expect the comment promo within the next week, week and a half, more than likely. Now, they haven't said anything about it, but... You guys know how this goes. They could tweet out by, you know, Saturday we're getting some. They could on the Thursday stream tomorrow reference that we're going to be getting something, you know, coming Monday. More than likely, we're going to be getting something. We, we know something will be upon us pretty soon. So, you know, don't don't get too freaked out that we haven't heard anything. Common promo is going to be super fun, guys. It's going to be a super fun promo. Common is always one of the best promos uh, in terms of cards, right? Not 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 as, like, it's not as in-depth as the Christmas promo or the Thanksgiving promo. But as far as the pack animation for this year looks and as far as the overalls and stats of the cards... They're going to be great cards. If anything, we do at least know that. It is always how that works. Now, we do have one of the first guys on the block, Coin and Williams. 400k for big Coin and Williams. That's expensive. But moving on to his attributes, 84 speed, 92 excel, 90 strength, 94 tackle, 92 play rec, 95 block shed, 92 power move, 80 finesse move. He's actually pretty good. He's pretty good for a uh, end, although I would like him more at defensive tackle. If you guys are going to play him, probably play him there. 84 speed, though, 92 excel is not bad. 95 block shed's great, and 92 power move. That's not bad. This is a good card. Now, he does have a power-up, which does hurt his, uh, you know, his potential, but he can still get 99 block shed uh, if you put, block, uh, you know, run stuffing on him, although I wouldn't recommend it. The, you know, the excel, the speed's not bad for a defensive tackle. That's where you should probably put him. I would not leave him at end. Then he's got, he's got some decent agility at 83, 75 jumping, 65 change of direction, 92 impact blocking, and, of course, he has 95 hit power. That's actually really good. It's a good hit power. Quentin Williams is a good card. On the Jets, of course, he was drafted uh, one of the top picks like two years ago. I don't remember if he was the first overall or the second overall. I think he was the second. I don't remember. That was like second or third, actually. But let's keep checking these out because, of course, you know, how the, you know how these go. The issue with these nowadays is that people really just aren't opening up heavyweight packs like that. I mean, not heavyweight. Oh, sorry. Rising Star packs. So the issue is, is that they're not going to be posted right away. That's just going to be the nature of how these work. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's check out if anything's going to come up pretty soon, and we'll be right back. Guys, so these cards were taking quite a while. I don't know why they're not coming up on the block. Like, well, I kind of know. I told you. Not many people are that excited in the morning to go ahead and go try to open up some of these Rising Star packs. So I guess that's probably why we're not seeing as many go up as quickly as they probably should. And especially the ones that do are high-priced. But here we go. We got Devin Singletary. Halfback for the Buffalo Bills. Had a much better year last year. Uh, this past season, he didn't do too well. Bills didn't really use him as much as they probably could have. And they probably didn't, weren't really feeling his performance anyways. But Devin Singletary, halfback for the Bills. Let's see. 92 speed, 95 excel, 94 agility. Great excel, great agility. The speed's way too bad. Not going to be a usable card. 85 trucking, 91 spin. 94 change of direction, 95 juke, 93 ball carry vision, 93 carrying, 93 break tackle. 85 stiff arm. Guys, this card is very similar to Clyde edwards alaire a very similar build super tiny back super well-rounded at everything even power but he's not that fast it's gonna be very similar to Clyde Edwards Alaire next we got Darnell Savage probably the best of the bunch Darnell Savage free safety for the Packers again a rookie like a year or two ago 
he has a 95 speed guys that is crazy good for a user and he's gonna be pretty cheap because his overall 95 excel 93 agility that is great news honestly in terms of just being able to use him as a user you know what i mean like that's really good 93 agility 61 strength 90 man coverage 95 zone coverage 85 press 94 jumping 90 awareness 90 play rec 94 hit power of course like that guys this card is good 80 block shedding 93 pursuit he can stop the run he can hit he can get 99 zone he can get 90 press and he has 95 speed guys He's gonna be one of the best free safeties in the game quite honestly like one of the best free safeties in the game one of the best users in the game and one of the best budget cards in the game when his price is all said and done and down to the price that he's at this card is a really really good card and if it's not a packers theme team guys it might be the best free safety in the game stat wise this is a crazy card um i like him and he's five foot eleven you know not crazy tall but it'll get the job done but guys that he, the fact that you can leave him alone with 99 zone is pretty crazy on a 95 overall car with 95 speed hit power and block shit of course that's important too you never really get block shit like that as well that's a crazy good card next we have sebastian joseph day who is the let's see defensive tackle for the los angeles rams 80 speed, 91 excel. So for a defensive tackle, again, just like Quinnen, not bad. 92 strength, decent, 82 jumping, whatever. 90 awareness, 90 play rec. He will get 93 block shed, 93 pursuit, 95 tackle, 94 uh, hit power, and 91 power move. A slightly worse Quinnen Williams, if I had to say so. That's it, slightly worse Quinnen Williams. Overall, he's not a bad card. Decent card, I don't see any reason why you would buy a less, you know, a less athletic defensive tackle unless you really want him at that position or you're a Rams fan or you're a Rams theme team. Otherwise, I wouldn't really touch this card. He's decent. His stats aren't bad. You know, like these cards, it's not like, none of these cards are unusable so far for the most part. It's just a matter of if they are worth having over other players that you could get at a certain price or on another team. You know what I mean? And finally, guys, we do have Hayden Hurst, the final rising star, tight end for the Falcons. Another pretty good card. Six foot four for tight end. That's pretty good height. He gets 90 speed. Starting off, 90 speed, 93 excel. So that means it's a usable tight end, right? No speed in the 80s. That's not that's not feasible anymore for in terms of tight end. So we definitely can't, you know, we can't knock the 90 speed. As long as it's above an 80 something, it's decent. 88 agility, not bad. 88 jumping, decent. 92 awareness is decent. Receiving, 95 catching is great. 92 catch traffic is good. 94 spec catch is great. 93 short running, 94 medium route running, and 90 deep route running. He gets all three route running thresholds, which a lot of tight ends at some point back, you know, really didn't. Probably going to be, the, again, the best budget tight end in the game. 91 release. He's going to be a, a receiver. He's essentially a 90-speed receiver that lines up with linebackers, guys. This is a great, great card. He gets 88 trucking. That's good. 81 change of direction. Not too great. 89 stiff arm. That's actually pretty good. 87 juke, 90 carrying, 85 break tackle, as well as he does get 71 run blocking, 88, uh, sorry, 75 impact blocking, 73 lead blocking. Card's good. It's a good card. Again, is it better than, you know, if you're going to be going for the best tight end in the game? Probably not. But if you're looking for a cheaper option or you have a Falcons team team, guys, Hayden Hurst is your guy. He's not bad at all. Now, guys, that pretty much does wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, boys. And always, it really helps a lot if you can comment and like on the video. So like the video. Comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know what's up. That's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.